All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls, and we should be getting the February end of the month news right about now. Let's see what's going on. Uh, there was a download, 45... Oh! It's cringy. There he is! Oh! I guess it's confirmed. Hikifune? Oh, wow. That's hype. This is hype. And then shoot tomorrow. Look at the specials. All right, guys, there it is. Um, that, that, now, now, if you didn't know, uh, there was um, a rumor that this would happen. So uh, we did kind of have an idea that it was possible. Squad 2 remembers, Kirinji, Kirio Hikifune, and Senjumaru Shutara will appear in Thousand Year Blood War Summons Quintessence. Look for more information coming soon. All right. I wonder, is, is there is there stats and skills? Let's find out, guys. Oh, my God. Uh, there's a lot to talk about with this. Okay, here, here we go. There's a ton of news here. Um... What is a Biakia epic raid? Oh my lord! Okay, let's look at the let's look at the one thing at a time. All right, uh, do we have we do have the stats? Of, okay, here we go, guys. This is it. Um, I wasn't sure whether I was believing the rumors because, um, I don't know. I, I just I, I just don't I just don't trust stuff like that usually. But here, here it's true. So um, shouts out to the people that saw this coming. All right, anyway, lightning fast Tanjiro. Uh, Tenjiro Kirinji, Kirio Hikifune, the very essence of hospitality, and the Supreme Tailor, Senjumaru Shutara. All right, so the the setup is the same as always. We got the uh, we got the the main banner, six percent, uh, and that's dropping on February 29th. And then we have individual banners as well. Oh my lord! Okay, one thing at a time. Let's look at the information. Um, all right, we're gonna read the description first. <sighs> Here we go, oh my lord. Right. Karinji Tanjiro is a melee strong attack character with Soul Reaper Killer. All of his attacks have the chance to inflict paralysis. Combined with Frenzy, 20% Havoc, yes, and 5 second Debilitator, it makes him capable of paralyzing enemies over a wide area. He also comes armed with a special move that is capable of reviving fallen allies. Okay, we saw that coming because, you know, that's kind of his thing, being a healer and all that. That's not all, though. He can unlock the new team speed attribute soul reaper strong attack damage plus 20 20 percent skill that increases the strong attack damage for any speed attribute soul reapers in the same team or party as tenjiro by 20 percent okay and it doesn't stack so if you have more than one karinji it does not stack that is a brand new thing there guys so um basically you're gonna want to have this this character in any blue team that you're going with he's uh, he's going to be uh he's going to be one of the better he's probably the best like uh support character for blue in the game i mean that's a lot of damage 20 percent extra damage to everybody in the team wow all right all right next next character kirio hikifune the very essence of hospitality kirio is a ranged normal attack character with soul reaper killer she can unlock Flurry and Poise. Uh, strong attack. Okay, so it sounds like a PvP unit. Second strong attack is a combined heal and boost. That's pretty good, guys. Uh, that, is that is that is this basically new Retsu with a boost? Oh, and she has she has medic too. Medic healer and uh, enhancer. Wow. I'm surprised that she has the heal and not Karinji. Uh, that's kind of... I guess Karinji has the revive. Sounds pretty good, guys. Sounds pretty good for uh, Hikifune. Might be a very good auto character or PvP character. We'll have to see when we scroll down a little bit. Uh, Alright, Senjumaru is a melee strong attack character with Arankar Killer. 
normal attacks, first and third strong attacks, and her special move, inflict lacerate. Second strong attack is a barrier. Okay, cool. Uh, Frenzy, 20% Havoc, Debilitator. Uh, Havoc is a great thing. It's in increased strong attack range, so that's what you want. Uh, uh, where was I? Unlock two new skills that make her ability to lacerate enemies even more effective. Increased status ailment chance against mind attribute Aaron cars makes her much more likely to inflict lacerate on mind characters and damage to lacerated enemies plus 40% means okay so when means she deals significantly more damage to lacerated enemies okay so i think what this means guys is that once she lacerates an opponent so say she procs the lacerate while that enemy is lacerated uh, Senji Maru does more damage against them. And it's a lot more damage, guys. 40%. Wow. Uh, new mechanics everywhere. Holy cow. All right. Um, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll read the, the stats and stuff in a second. New characters are added to the uh, Byakuya Epic Raid. That is cool. I can't... Oh, man. I want the Byakuya pet. I'm kind of more hyped for that than the characters, to be honest with you. Nah, maybe it's about the same. All right. Uh, the setup. We know the setup by now. We don't have to go over it. Uh... Okay, so Tenjiro is going to be a blue character. Uh, stats all look fine. Soul Reaper Killer. Recharge character as well. Um, uh, Frenzy with Berserker on top of 20%. Uh, Havoc. Sprinter plus 2. So they didn't mention that in the uh, in the description, guys. He has Sprinter plus 2. He has an extra flash step. And he increases the damage of a blue party by 20%. So, I mean, you, basically, you're going to have to have a... Like, every every co-op is going to want to have a Karinji in their team. Because he just gives you more damage overall. Um, I like where they're going with that new with that new uh, effect. It's a little bit powerful. It makes him... Uh, he's going to be a meta character for sure. Uh, and he has to revive. He can revive his his uh, his teammates with, with his special. He's like the ultimate co-op character, guys. Um, all right. He looks great. Sprinter plus two. Uh, yeah, he looks amazing. All right. Kirio Hikifune. Mind character. Uh, Soul Reaper. Killer. DR unit. So this is going to be, clearly it's meant to be a PvP unit. Wow. Uh, wow. Okay, so she has Flurry. And on top of Flurry, she has Bruiser of 40%. That's what you want. You also have uh, Poise. Wow, wow, guys, wow. Um, yeah, she's definitely... She's definitely... I mean, she's a meta PvP unit, as far as I can tell. Uh, the DR Soul Trait, Poise, Flurry, Bruiser on top of that. She has a heal, she has a boost. Oh my god, she has everything. Um, yeah, this might be the Noitora replacement in PvP. Uh, looks great, wow. Uh, this is This is an amazing character. Heal and a and a boost, guys. Heal and a boost. Like, uh, I mean, the only other character I can recall having that is the uh, that old school Speed Xylopero. But um, yeah, she's gonna hit pretty hard. I'm just trying to think of how she'll fit into the PvP scene. She has a Soul Reaper Killer, so she'll work against any captain as well. And uh, I believe, yeah, Squad Zero members are still considered Soul Reapers as well. So. Maybe she'd be good against Ichibe. I don't know. All right. We'll think about that later, guys. Shutamaru. Armor Car Killer. Uh, strong Attack Recharge character in purple. And she has that new unique thing. She has Frenzy, Havoc, and, and Berserker. All the usual stuff there. But she also has the, the increased chance to inflict Lacerate against Mind Attribute characters. So she's going to proc her Lacerate a lot. And while enemies are procced, she does increase damage. At least that's my understanding of what they said uh, she can do. So, uh, a lot of new mechanics on this character. And on Karinji as well. Uh, personally, she has a barrier too. I forgot to mention that. Ah, oh, man. The barrier is really tough. To... They all look great, guys. Like, they all bring something different to the table. Uh, every one of these characters is a home run, in my opinion. I don't even need to see the gameplay. Just just from the descriptions. I They're, they're all good. So... Um, get hype. I think I like, I like Senju Maru the best, but as a character, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards, towards Tanjiro. 
because I just think Tanjiro is like cool. But uh, mechanically, I think Senjumaru is is the most interesting with the lacerate and the shield and all that. So uh, we'll have to see, guys. We'll have to see. I you know I, I kind of want them all. <laughs> I kind of want them all. All right. Anyway, the fi oh my god. Wait. All right. So this is kind of weird. The filler has one manga character, which is uh, the Shunsui right there. Uh, the filler, eh. Some of these are pretty good. Uh, like the to the Toshiro is good, even if it even if you get a dupe of him, it's still good. Uh, Shunsui's still good. He's still pretty good, uh, even as a dupe. Lease is not bad. Um, the Jushiro is a, a a recharge link fourteen. Uh, Izuru's a a dr link. He's kind of older though, so it's not that great. Momo is kind of out of date as well, and so is Ishin. Uh, Ishin is a twenty five percent normal attack. Then the filler pool is hit and miss. I'd say. I'd say the first three characters here, Shunsui, Lisa, and Toshiro, are pretty good. And the rest are kind of mediocre. So, um, it's not as bad as it was in the last banner, but uh, it's still not great, guys. Okay, so there's the stats and skills. Um, they're pretty hype. I'm not going to lie. They're pretty hype. Uh, my God. Okay. Uh, there's also individual banners as well. Uh, I'm not going to go through those. You guys can look at that in-game if you want. if you want to see the fillers for those. Um, well, maybe we should look at him. Maybe we should. Uh, it, just, just real quick. Let's see what the fillers are for these. So the individual Shutamaru banner. Uh, looks like it's got Retsu, Ren Renji, Shinji, uh, Tag Team Tosh. Okay, so no other manga characters in the filler. And I assume that's the way it's going to be for the other banners, uh, the other individuals as well. But uh, let's just verify here. I mean, we might as well take the extra time and just take a look. Green King, Hikafune. Hikafune is the most interesting. Well, they're all interesting. Hikafune, I don't... Ah, man, I, I'm not sure if she's going to be PvP meta or not. It sounds like she is. Okay, so she's got Tensa as a as filler. Kisuke. Ja oh, God, Jackie. Oh, God. Uh, Mashiro, she's still a 20 DR. So she's... I mean, you might want her. I don't know. But y you wouldn't actually use that Mashiro to play with. Okay. Uh, that's Hikafune. The filler is so far not that great, guys, in the individuals. And uh, Karinji is the final one. And he is... Uh, Shinji... Your, oh, Purple Yoruichi, I have so many. Oh, God, this one's bad, guys. Oh, this one's real bad. Yeah, these individual fillers are terrible. Okay, so there you have it. That's all the information we have on the characters and stuff. Um, I'm sure... Oh my god, I'm sure the gameplay should be coming out tomorrow, so uh, get hyped for that, too. I guess the only other thing we need to cover is the Byakuya, Byakuya Kuchki Epic Raid. Oh my god, we get a pet Byakuya. That's awesome. Should we read it, guys? I guess we should. Uh, just We'll just read the first part here. Be careful of set traps, attacks that place traps in the arena. If you step within range of a trap... It and four neighboring traps will like all explode. Be careful where you tread and try not to cause damage to your teammates. Okay. Um, I mean, that's a very kind of vague, but uh, it looks like positioning is going to be very important. Uh, the bonus characters, there you have it right there if you want to take a look, guys. Obviously, the uh, new Zero Squad members are going to be bonus characters. And uh, there's some other... The other bonus, uh, Nemaya's in there too, so... Um, looks interesting. All right. I can't wait to get a pet Byakuya. That's hype, man. I, I didn't think he, they would they would do him as a raid boss so soon. I thought there would be uh, some other people in between, but uh, in between Renji and him, but I guess not. I mean, because Ichigo did have a fight with Ikaku. Like I thought they were going in order of like the people that Ichigo fought in the anime or manga, because uh, he fought Renji, and then after Renji, I think he fought Ikaku, and after Ikaku, I think he fought Kempachi. And then he didn't fight Byakuya until the end. Like, for real fight Byakuya until the end. He had a few skirmishes with Byakuya before that final battle. But um, I didn't really count those as real fights. Anyway, he's coming out soon next month. I'm hype on that. I'm hype on the new characters. They look great. Uh, for me personally, in order of the ones I think are coolest, uh, Shutumaru, I, I like her the best as far as gameplay goes. Uh, Karinji is... I would say he he's actually tied with Shutumaru. Because he's got a lot of cool stuff as well. He's got the uh, that that uh, team buff, which we've never seen before, and it's just like 
it seems like it's a passive ability. Like, just have him in your party, and he automatically grants everybody 20% extra damage. So that's great. Um, and, uh, yeah, Hikifune is going to be PvP. It didn't say anything about her transforming, but I'm assuming when she does her boost, she goes from being uh, the heavy set version to being the, the more slender version. So that's pretty cool that they integrated that as well. Even though, I mean, I, we, we kind of saw that coming. All right. Anyway, that's it for, tonight, for now, guys. Uh, I got a lot of thinking to do. I still want Camp for Your Own World Neliel, who's coming out uh, in her individual banner. So uh, we're going to have to, it's going to be a balancing act um, in a few days here. So let me know what you think. Uh, Shouts out to the people that, that leaked it or, uh, you know, predicted it or whatever. Uh, it looks like they were correct. So um, I, I will have to give out a shout out to them. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you when we have gameplay or more information. Bye-bye.